Hi everyone, this is LAR Games, and today, well, I'm starting the new season. Uh, and for me, it's starting off with uh, So I'm a Spider, So What? So this this anime is one that I've been waiting for for quite a while, um, because it's actually a uh, light novel that I planned on reading for quite a long time, but then the, the anime was announced, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to watch it. Uh, but at the same time, I actually put off reading the light novel for quite a long time because while I'm quite addicted to isekais, this one had things that kind of didn't really appeal to me, but I heard it was really good, so uh, now that there's an anime, I can watch the anime and then read the uh, the novels. Uh, well, usually I would go anime, then manga, then novels, kind of like a descending order, or an ascending order of quality in terms of uh, information to fill. Uh, but yeah, hopefully they actually do this right, because a lot of the times just... Oh man, anime adaptations, isekais just don't get along for some reason. They do in terms of actually being adapted, but at the same time they don't in terms of being adapted well. So... As a bit concerning, especially since, from what I've heard, uh, this anime, or th this uh, studio tends to heavily use 3D for things, so that's a little bit worrying. Uh, hopefully they don't do that, though, for this. I, I don't even, okay, when it comes to the story, I, I really don't know much. I just know uh, that it's an isekai and the female protagonist gets turned into a spider, and she's OP. I really do like... OP characters. I, I haven't gotten tired of them yet. Um, so that's a big plus for me in terms of enjoyment, hopefully. So let's just see how it's done. Uh, with that said, yeah, let's just get started. Oh, 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 that... That was a bit strange there. They were just sliding. Also, it's just me or is the... This is really blurry. Everyone is faceless so far. Some Gyaru's there, somewhat. I guess the entire class is being summoned in this one, Ari Ferretta style. Fortunately, unlike Ari Ferretta, uh, they actually included the isekai part, the, the being transferred part. Oh, there she is, already a spider. I assume that this was the teacher. You know, 3D is being used right now, but it's actually pretty good. Like, I, I don't mind how this looks. Visually, it actually looks fine. I'm actually kind of surprised that this looks good. Is the whole thing going to be 3D? You know what? This doesn't look bad. I only really hate CGI when it's used on, like, humans, or, like, human-like characters, but in this case, they're actually doing it really well. It even feels like it, like it isn't 3D sometimes. Well, that's very quick. I'm gonna skip the opening as usual. If you don't know my policy for openings, uh, I basically always skip the opening until the end, then I watch it, because enemy openings spoil things. They spoil a lot of things, so... Oh! Yeah, okay. She has to eat that. She's the only spider that has, like, a face.
Mama Spider. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, the um, not a very nurturing mother, is she? <laughs> With that body, it's literally the first time you've ever done that. I'm getting Rimuru vibes here. I think she was the teacher, and I gotta say that I really like the teacher's design. She was pretty cute. Well, being able to think is pretty... Great, I have to say. Not being able to think would suck, which is why the idea of death is so terrifying to me. Just ceasing to exist. Oh, okay. Uh, Rimuru's uh, <laughs> status AI seems to be here as well. Though it's just the voice here. So she has appraisal now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of sounds like Tanya. Is this uh, the same voice actress? That was that was all. That was kind of like the the slime AI. <laughs> I guess appraisal level one isn't as robust as she would have liked. <laughs> no matter how many times you appraise it, it's uh, just level one. She has a bit of a temper, doesn't she? <laughs> You know, I think the true test of whether this is going to look good or not is when more humans show up. Because the 3D is working for this spider. But for people, I hope they don't do it. Because everything right here looks pretty good. Like the environments, using 3D for environments usually looks good if it's done well enough. Actually, the, the reflections there are really weird. They shouldn't. They shouldn't. Mm, they shouldn't be reflecting anything. Made the rock walls look super smooth instead of rocky. Uh, there's probably a lot of them then, huh? I don't think you want to see humans in that state oh, are they dead oh well someone something was dead there 
can she communicate? I don't think so. I think most of what we're seeing and hearing are just is just in her head. Oh, oh no! You, it, oh, it's everywhere. Man, you were that scared, huh? I feel they're kind of skipping a lot of stuff. Because, like, she just got it, and now she instantly already has something made. I feel in the light novel, she probably spent a long time figuring out how to work this. Basically, you were Tomoko from Watamote. <laughs> Though you're a lot more cheerful than she is. You're probably pretty hungry, huh? Yeah. We skipped all of that, though, so... To <laughs> oh, she actually... You know what? She's probably going to have that ability where, where she eats things, she gets their abilities. <laughs> I think she threw up everything she ate. So she did get stuff. It seems she got abilities. Or maybe those are the ones that come with her spider body. Like... Poison Fang or something like that. Oh, well, that's not a title you would ever want. So she does acquire skills by eating. That's, that's the most OP skill. Just eat everything. <laughs> yeah. Probably not. Though I don't really understand why the other spiders don't have the, these abilities. Probably because it came with her body or with her soul. Still a lot of spiders there. She is really way too chipper about being in this situation, like more than Rimuru. This is a pretty interesting visual. Well, some sort of gecko. That looks awful. That looks really bad. I don't like how that looks. Okay. Yeah, the visuals... Some are hit, some are miss. Oh, okay. Well, she definitely got hurt. I guess she's not OP yet. <laughs> not in our not in the depiction of what we're seeing, you don't. You only have two. Alright, so she's actually struggling to get OP. Uh, okay, well. <laughs> Never mind. Sort of. She's still gaining skills, like really easily. That's a very Rimuru way of thinking.
I feel like its tongue is long enough to to reach her. So every hit she takes just makes her stronger. I wonder how much of an impact each level makes. You know, the direction of the action is actually pretty good despite the use of 3D. I just feel some of the materials in the 3D ob or the you know in the 3D models, both in the regarding the creature and the environment could use some work. But on the spider it looks fine. She's celebrating a bit too much. You should, uh, be a, you should be a little more pragmatic at this point, I think. Oh. It is using 3D for the characters. At least for that guy in the back, I think. That's what it looks like. It seems she's the only one that didn't get transported in her own body. But this is one of the things I also knew about it, that it's going to switch uh, POV a lot to characters that got transferred over. And that's something that didn't really appeal to me too much. I mean, Ari Ferretta does it, but it's... I don't know. Hmm. It, might, it might do it in a way that I'll like it. It's really rare in Ariferetta. But right now, I, I literally do not know anyone. In Ariferetta, at least it bothered to introduce all the important characters first. And then when they were teleported over, it introduced them. Uh, I really love her design. <laughs> Elves are good. Normally, I would be excited and I would be excited being introduced to new characters like this because I'd be like, oh, I hope she's a, a heroine, but uh, our main character is a female spider, so I'm not, I'm not really looking for that sort of thing. Her design is also great. I feel they kind of glossed over very important things here. So, the kind of thing I would usually like to watch is something with him being the main character. But from what I, from what I know about this, it's kind of going to try to subvert that typical anime, uh, isekai protagonist sort of thing. But I... Uh, I, I like that stuff already, 
And I, I would want to see everything through just his perspective and not have anything be thwarted or like go against the kind of stuff I would usually enjoy. Like, if it's going to go this route of having her be a... The, the main character be a female spider that is super OP and stuff, uh, I would rather not have this perspective, like, at all. Because it just... makes me conflicted. Oh, okay. Uh, so they they got different bodies. It would have been interesting to actually cover these first impressions. Oh, all right. We have a talking mouth here. Okay, so everyone literally got different bodies here. It's weird how they're forgetting the teacher. Would have been really nice to be introduced into these characters before they were reincarnated. So yeah, the thing that I'm looking forward to the least is these scenes. Anything having to do with them, I feel I'm just going to not like. Because I would, I, I basically wish it was a separate anime on its own and not have anything to do with the spider perspective. Yeah, it's kind of quite a bit different. Their situations right now, even the, the one that was born reborn as a Pokemon, uh, she was still in a very well-off place. She was comfortable and not in danger. But her spider lady here, she uh, she has some surviving to do. So this is the end of the episode. Uh, a bit jarring as an end to the first episode. And, as I said, I really hope we don't get too many of these, like, alternate POV scenes, you know? Because either I want to fo focus fully on her adventures or focus fully on uh, his adventures. And, from what I've been told they're kind of going to be in opposition to each other. Not really directly, but like in terms of her kind of doing stuff that'll impact them negatively, I guess. That's what I, I get from my understanding. Uh, uh, I tried really to not ask about much, but some people <laughs> like to explain things. Um, and also, I don't remember much since it was like so long ago. But yeah, uh, a lot of it was really enjoyable. The comedy was kind of fun, but a little jarring considering her situation. Uh, her personality is way too upbeat for her situation. And it's it kind of takes me out of it a little bit. But at the same time, I do feel like that energy might be something that makes this series worth watching. In the end, at least. 
if she keeps that sort of go-getter attitude with high energy. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed my reaction to the first episode of So I'm a Spider, So What? <sighs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.